Hey guys, welcome to Leading Edge Martial Arts. Today is Thursday. I never know the date, so I just say Thursday, all right? Uh, I'll have the, anyway. Um, this is my advanced class, uh, blue through black, adult and child. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be doing more grappling stuff when I have uh, Joshu Scott here to uh, you know, work with and stuff like that. But today, we already hit it yesterday in class. If you were in my Wednesday evening class, elbows. We don't do a lot of elbows, but elbows are a great technique to know, use, and understand how powerful they are, okay? Elbows are great because they're such a short range technique. You're inside close on the clinch, and you sneak an elbow in, you sneak an elbow in, they are so powerful and they're so quick, your opponent typically won't see them coming unless they're an experienced martial artist. You can even look at UFC fights. They have some crazy elbow strikes that they throw and they're, they're phenomenally hit and sometimes they're phenomenally dodged. So today we're gonna go over some upper belt elbow strikes today. I had my white belts, yellow, orange, green. They did front crossing elbow, back crossing elbow, ascending and descending. Make sure you hit those before you come to these, okay? So your, we're gonna start with your reverse elbows to the body and reverse elbows to the head. And I'm gonna show up from a side view so you can see you know, the hand position and everything on the side, okay? So your reverse elbow to the head comes out first and bang, straight back. Out first, bang, straight back. This is for someone who's coming up behind you and you're just, boom, laying them out cold. Up and right back. Make sure your other hand stays in your face, your palm is down when you do this strike. Kia. 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 That is your basic technique, okay? That's reverse elbow to the head. Reverse elbow to the body is a little bit different because here, you're gonna hear Sensei Rob and myself only say this one time and one time only. Both your hands can drop. That's right, this is your one free pass. Both hands can come down for this technique. This one, your hand comes out, your other hand gets on top, and as my one child student yesterday, I think Daniel said, to give it a little bit more oomph when you come back. Comes out, other fingers come across the front, back to the elbow, and back up. Kia, Kia. That is your reverse elbow to the body. Very effective techniques, and when someone's rushing up behind you or have a hold on you, boom, that little nudge to the ribs is excellent. Feel free to use that in your curriculum when you're doing alternates for my adults. Little shot to the ribs, you know what I mean? You move to the side, bang. That's a little elbow to the body, okay? If it's to the side, you can do elbow to the head, but you, you get what I'm saying, okay? Upper belts, we're gonna work your inverted elbow, and you're gonna work your, uh, I forgot off the top of my head here. I'm sorry guys. You're gonna work your uh, spin elbow, okay? So let's do the spin elbow first, okay? So you're here, turn over your back shoulder, step through, hit, and reset. With these elbows, same thing, you're hitting with the back of the arm, not with the blade. Turn and look, step through, elbow strike, and reset, this is to the head. The most important thing about a spin elbow is to make sure you turn and look first. If you don't turn and look, you're gonna not see where your opponent is and you're gonna hit something that you shouldn't hit, like a street pull or something like that. So make sure you turn and look and hit your opponent. All right, guys? For my upper belt, you're gonna do your inverted elbow. This one's a little bit difficult, okay? I'm gonna show you straight on. Your elbow comes up in the air and you're gonna pivot and come down. And see, a lot of people do this, ki -ai. ki -ai. you know what you're actually hitting here with? this part and you have no power because you're not pivoting, you're not rotating your body. You need to up, rotate that body down. Elbow comes up, rotate down with that ki -ai. Boom, boom. For everyone doing this drill, you wanna do about 20 to 30, maybe 30, 40 on both sides. Repetition is the mother of skill. And if you guys aren't here to, uh, for me to see it or another instructor to see it, Schedule a private lesson with us so we can make sure that your elbows and all your other curriculum is on point, okay? Those are free. So like I said, if you guys are exclusively online only training, which is perfectly, totally fine, but you have some questions about your technique, don't feel free to email us, text the school, uh, message whatever the case may be, message the, the, the Leading Edge uh, page itself. We can set up a private lesson for you guys. They're absolutely free, okay? Um, that's it for the elbows. We're gonna do more elbows tomorrow with Joshu Scott. Today we're gonna to go right on into the grappling stuff. So let me get my Uki here. Okay. Let me angle my camera down here, guys. 
We're gonna do some basic uh, cross chokes, some gi news chokes. Like I said, if you're at home, don't put your gi for this. Put your gi on a, on a, on a uh, I can't think today, I'm sorry guys. Put your, put your gi on a, a pillow or a, a large teddy bear or your sibling, okay? Practice, practice there, okay? So here, I have Dan for today. Joshu Scott's out today so far. So, we're going to do review. Obviously, you want to review your six-point clock, Joe. Always review that. It's a nice warm-up pace for you guys. Then I want you to guys to dive into your arm bars. Imagine. Come here, man. Thanks, dude. Trap, pin, up, over the top, and break that arm. Boom. Whatever you want to do. Okay. So that's your arm bar. You guys all know that though. Okay. But I want you to review. Next thing I want you guys to do, before you actually go into the arm bar, I just figured this out. I had my students do it yesterday. When you're doing your six point clock drill, stop at each position and think of two submissions that you can throw. What I mean by that is if you're in the scarf, you can do straight arm bar, triangle choke, Americana, I gave you three, okay? If you're in side control, you can wiggle out into the guard, if you're in side control, you can throw it into a, uh, uh, man, I can't think of it, Buma Plata. I want you to try to think of different things that you guys can do from each position. Because a lot of you guys, you guys start rolling, getting in position, and then you just stay there. And you're like, uh, I think I'm just going to hold this till Sensei calls time. No, we want to see you guys try to submit each other with uh, control is the key part there. But we do want to see that with you guys. So, like I said, from each position, try to get two submissions, all right? Now, once you do all that, we're gonna go right into your gi new chokes, gi new forearm chokes, okay? So here, you're gonna take your right hand, thumb in, or fingers in, all the way down to the ground, and turn. Your other hand's just gonna grab the gi wherever you can grab it. All you're gonna do is you're gonna drop your elbow to the ground and pull with your left hand, and that's gonna cinch around his neck, causing him to choke. Again, fingers in, down, grab, Turn your pinky in, elbow down, and pull. And that's gonna cause that cinch around his neck to choke him, okay? For my black belt, so we're gonna work into your, oh, sorry, toboggan here. So, do it, Lieutenant, hang on. Uh, here with Buki here, okay? And you got your seat belt right here, okay? This one's very, very sneaky. Just like the baseball choke from side control is very easy, to, or, or sneaky. Just like um, you can do baseball chokes, very sneaky. The uh, from side control, the uh, uh, clock choke uh, is very sneaky from there. Um, this is sneaky as well because you're just kind of sitting here. You know, they're they're trying to get their hands in here inside their arms, so they, they think you're gonna go for the rear naked. You're not. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab up here, okay? Up here, thumb in this time, not fingers in, thumb in, and you have it here. Like I said, they're gonna think you're going for the rear naked choke. You're gonna have it here. This hand's already in place down here. You just hug. Walk your fingers up, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down and cinch. That's gonna cause the gi news choke right here across that, that, that throat. So once again, one hand's underneath, one hand on top, you got the seatbelt grip. They're trying to, trying to fight for control. They think you're going for a rear naked. You're gonna slip your thumb in. Thumb in, that's key. Your other hand's gonna be here. If it grabs low, just slowly work your way up as he's not really paying attention to that hand. Don't go like this, or he's gonna know something's up. Slowly work it up. And then all you do is you pull your elbow back, pull down, and then you have your uh, forearm knee stroke from behind. All right? Everyone have a great day. Um, later on, or tomorrow, Joshua Scott and I are gonna go over some more elbows in more detail, and we're gonna go over some more grappling stuff in detail, and then we're gonna have a little push-up challenge for you guys at the end. Everyone have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.